Prepare for my shows. You know, some brothers do push-ups, some brothers pray. Me, I just like to get the shit out the way. Now get on out of here. Man, go! Miami and Prava, y'all ready? To get rich. All right, cut it out, cut it out. One more time for Noah, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Damn, y'all look good in the government check here tonight. White people, everything up in this motherfucker. White people don't even know who they come to see. They're like, is Mike Chips in town tonight? Is he on the Adam Murphy movie? Oh, everybody look good. All the fellas got their woman with them tonight. That's a good thing. You see a nigga with his wife, that nigga be a whole nother nigga, huh? What's up, Mike? Hey, how's everything doing? God bless. How's the kids doing? Everything good? Good to see you, brother. You see me by myself. What's up, Mike? Where the bitches at? There go your wife. Where? Where's she at? Where my wife at? Where? The niggas scared of their wife, ain't they? <laughs> niggas say, look, they're gonna pull these. Fuck the police. They're gonna wipe, wipe, wipe my wife. Like oh, shit, I'm out of here. We're here in the parking lot of the Broken Hip Retirement Home. Now, Lucinda, thanks for coming out to meet us tonight. We know this must be hard. It is hard. Okay. You called cheaters because you suspected that your longtime boyfriend, Danny, has been cheating you with another woman. Now, at your request, our cheaters investigators have followed Danny around for the last three days, and we've compiled a video of his findings. Now, this video is pretty graphic in nature, and it could be too much for you to watch, so I understand. Show me it, Joey Greco. I need to know the truth about Danny once and for all. Investigation day number one. <laughs> that bitch looks just like my nana. Your nana? Wait a minute. That motor chair looks just like the one I bought her for Christmas. Oh, hell no. My grandmother. My man is parking my nana? Okay. Well, we can't jump to any conclusions yet, Kim, okay? We know Danny's a dog, okay? All old people look the same. So this could be anybody, okay? No, where is that no good bastard, Joey Greco? I want to confront his ass right now. Call one of your little detectives and find out where he is, okay? No, let me in this motherfucker right now. What the fuck is going on here? Look, no. No. How could you fuck me? They like that. No, they ain't like that. Damn. Get them cameras out of here. Get them cameras out of here. That's your boy from Cheetahs right there. What's up, dog? It ain't like that, baby. It ain't even what you think it is. Oh, it ain't? No. Nah. Because to me, it looked like my nana was just sucking on your little ding a link. What am I now? What am I thinking? Come on, baby. Damn, how y'all gonna let her in here? Get them cameras out of here. Get them cameras out of here now. Get them out of here. And you? How could you do this to me, nana? This is a fourth boyfriend of mine that you slept with. You are a bitch. It is fucking on puta. So you know what? Get, get back. Fuck you. We're in love and we're gonna get married. How could you do this? Cheating on her with her grandmother? One Girlfriend name. of five years? One need my pop, dog. One need my pop. She oh, one need my pop, man. I'm telling you, man. She's, she she was inviting us when I was coming Small, over there for man. dinner. Small. When you was inviting me over there for dinner and I was eating them Small. good ass rolls, she was taking me in the back, sucking my dick. That's how it went down. 
and she don't never make a nigga feel good. Cause that's all you did was mm -hmm, kiss all around the thing. These gums make me cum. So what are you trying to say, now? What I'm trying to say is don't call me until you lose every tooth in your motherfucking mouth. That's right, cause she been doing it good to me. Oh, and you've been missing all this. Nasty. But I can't, I can't. Come on, mm. mama. I cannot, but, but you know what? You stay with that fucking yeah. whore of a Messed fucking up, grandmother that I have. You fucking. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. And right now we in Boston, we in Bean Town. I got a beanie in my motherfucker now. <laughs> Girls know it ain't your beauty, it's your booty. You watch it, Mike S. Pimpin, the Hollywood. Oh my God! My daughter said this jacket looked like a licorice jacket. I said, get the fuck in there and do your homework. <laughs> this is a smart aleck. These little kids is bad than the motherfucker nowadays. All you need is my space. You don't need no motherfucking uh, babysitter. <laughs> Buy them a computer and push them in the bedroom. I'm gonna see you in two weeks. <laughs> Motherfuckers in there on the computer taking up their time. You don't know what the fuck is on their computer. You come in there and hit it, it'd be two naked men from Salt Lake City looking up. <laughs> Brent and Brian. Who the fuck is Brent and Brian? <laughs> White people, I feel so sorry for y'all. Y'all kids will kill y'all. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Timmy, you're grounded and you're dead, mom, bitch. <laughs> Didn't I tell you next time you ground me, you're dead? <laughs> Timmy, no. <laughs> you can't kill no black mama shit. You ain't never heard of a nigga killing his mama, have you? Cause it'll be a shootout in that motherfucker. <laughs> I gotta call you back. This nigga popping it. I call you back. Boo, boo, do, 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 do. Couch feathers and shit flying all over. I just shot my son, I'll call you right back, bye-bye. He must have thought I was a blood or something. Kicked the nigga in the head, boom. Welcome to another edition of Dr. Feel Good, the show that won't make you better, but guaranteed to make you feel good. Today we're going to talk about these badass kids, something you can recognize because you probably got badass kids yourself. These kids are out of control. They're smoking weed, they're skipping school, 
They're fucking like rabbits. Here, they're getting more sex than me, and I'm fucking my whole staff. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I'm fucking a couple of them, but not the whole staff. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, back to our show. We have a guest here today that goes by the name of Maxine McDonald and her son, Kevin. <laughs> fuck you, too, you little motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You see what I'm talking about? You shut the fuck up. Now, God. we have... You fuck yourself. <gasps> Dr. Feelgood. My son is a holy terror. Shut up, bitch. See, you better watch your fucking mouth. Call her a bitch again. Call her a bitch again. I swear I want to fight you so bad. I want to knock all the now later juice out your goddamn mouth. It looks like we have a catfish that won't fry. I got a catfish for you right here. Reverend Tinkle again on this show. Reverend Tinkle one more time. You see this little nasty motherfucker? This is grandmas and women all over here watching this show. Gonna grab your little dick in here like you the big man or something. What we did was that you can get an idea of what Maxine's going through at home. So we set cameras in her house to watch this little fucker. Let's take a look. Red one, come up off my shit, dog. Kevin, it's bedtime. Then go to bed, bitch. I'm running this shit. <laughs> I don't know where Kevin is. I told him to go to bed. Kevin! Mom, hold this. What is it? No! Get on the ground! Get on the ground right now! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> wow, what'd you do, Mom? Kevin! Now that was just terrible. Maxine, you know what? I think I got just the thing for you. You gotta choke this little motherfucker. You can't let him run your fucking house. You're gonna take over your shit. I've been the person three times. Dr. Phil will play that shit. You see how quick I choked him? He's freaking choking. And I'll choke you again. Can I try? Go ahead, try. Yeah, choke the shit out of him. Choke him. Yeah, I wanna see this. Choke the shit out of him. Choke the shit out of him. Oh, people, do you see this? He's choking the shit out of him. Does that feel good or what? Oh, I feel good. See that, that girl? Doctor feel good. You see that? Oh. I'm writing you a prescription for two backhand slaps up against the forehead. And Kevin, you're getting two ass whoopings a day. You need your ass tore out the frame, man. Now apologize <laughs> to your mother, boy. You only get one. That's right. These kids is bad than a motherfucker. You remember them good ass whoopings used to get when you was little? That's what these little motherfuckers need now. There's a good tearing down. These motherfuckers need their ass whooped. My little daughter, she didn't got, I got a daughter 13, boy. She coming in, my buddy got a keloid hanging from his ear. She coming in the other day talking about, Daddy, is that a leather hearing aid case? I, I said, who the fuck makes a leather hearing aid case? I thought Sean John, didn't there do your homework, you know. Sean John ain't made no motherfucking leather here in AK. Maybe Rocco jazz in there and get in the bed. You know Rocco ain't wore no motherfucking leather here in AK. School ain't teaching them shit. School is just a babysitting place too. These little motherfuckers, yeah. Teachers fucking the kids. I'm mad because they wasn't doing the shit when I was little. I wanted to fuck one of my teachers till her husband showed up. Fuck him. I ain't know she was married. Yeah, these little kids is bad than a motherfucker.
Brown. 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 from the hood, Mr. Hollywood. Yeah, and we are ready to unscrew your boats. I'm ready to unscrew some nuts. <laughs> that one up. Who is this guy? <laughs> I am a famous porno star. Wow, my luck's in. I'm watching Mike Hill from the hood. Live in the person. Live in the person. Now I'm Yeah, all right. I have a lot of women that work for me. Uh, I'm a wholesaler. <laughs> I mean a pimp. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's Where Are They Now? Featuring the legendary R&B sensation, Chicken Wang Jones. <laughs> The year, 1987. The artist, Wayne Jones. After four successful years with the world-famous R&B group, Early Edition, Wayne broke out on his own to launch a solo career. Wayne Jones was a hit from day one as a solo artist. And we had all the ladies, all the money, and all the moves. That glide off our stage, been doing that, man. Everybody using Wayne moves. For two and a half months, Wayne Jones was keen. But his reign would soon come to an end when a dark secret was revealed. If you only knew what I knew. If you knew what I knew. Knew what I knew. Oh, oh hell! He had it all, but with his songs plummeting from the charts, Chicken Wing couldn't even manage a bass hit. But that was then. We caught up to Chicken Wing two weeks ago, preparing for his triumphant comeback. You know, I, I came back to the music. But I didn't like I didn't like being called Chicken Wing at first, but now it, I guess it's cool, you know. I got a new double double album coming out. I'm doing what I can, you know. People is accepting me and loving me the way I am, and I'm happy with it. I think I'm gonna let y'all hear my new single. It's coming out. Matter of fact, it's called When I Close My Eyes. I could see you. I, I used to get snap that hand. If I close my eyes, I could see her in the wind swept the skies. I could see her. With ambitious ventures on the horizon and a double CD in the works, Chicken Wayne Jones hopes to reach a new audience and a new plateau in American music. God, he think he's the shit. Man, I ain't bullshitting, man. The world is getting fucked up. Drug dealers ain't making money. Look at the kingpins in the hood. They ain't shit no more. See a kingpin now? Nigga, man, I went on and got me a job, man. I'm over, I'm over at the Kroger now, man. Fuck my bankroll up, man. I tried to be a pimp one time. That shit is terrible. It's like babysitting some bitches. I can't do that. One girl wanted me to talk to her mother. I was like, bitch, I don't want to talk to you. I'm pimping, bitch. What I'm going to say to your mother? 
She just want to know who you are. <laughs> One bitch talking about, we hungry, we hungry. I said, y'all better get them Lunchables and get out on that motherfucker <laughs> track like I said. <laughs> One bitch come talking about, I, ain't, I didn't get a Butterfinger in my tray. I said, get the fuck out there. <laughs> that other bitch got a Butterfinger in her shit. Yo, this is Blaze with Mike Epps from the hood of Hollywood right now. Real pimping, baby, going on in the Bronx, you know what I mean? BX stand up, John Blaze, y'all know what it is, man. Y'all heard? Hold it down. Riding dirty up in here, you know how it is. The hard all that. He got that motherfucker split pea green plumber. Yeah. They know what that set. They know what the setback is, man. They know what the setback is. You know, striping on the wrist. That's how it's going down. You know what I mean? Pimper for real. You know, I'm. My man, my man doing it right here. Look. He's doing it right here. Pimper for real. Oh yeah. This nigga got a gold yeah. chain. With him fighting the police. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's the police. That's him swinging on the police. <laughs> <laughs> and I never get away. I stay getting caught. <laughs> <laughs> On the streets of Philadelphia, Mr. Claiborne was a mythical character. Man, this motherfucker was like the William Refrigerator Perry a drug dealer. There's Rocky, there's Will Smith, and there's Leon Big Money Claiborne, okay? I'm one of the coldest motherfucker that ever sold a goddamn nickel bag on the east side. And you can ask anybody goddamn about that. You may see it as a nickel bag, but if you add up enough of them, pretty soon we're talking major weight. The idea that this guy could move nickel bags with impunity? It just sent law enforcement into a rage. I sell nickel bag right in front of the police. Police come down there and dealing with another nigga, got him on the car. I'm selling nickel bag right back, back, right behind his back. Well, let's just say, without the combined effort of multiple law enforcement agencies, there's no way we could have brought his empire to a close. Because I was taking the nickel bag and wrapping a, a thread on top of the nickel bag and lowering the nickel bag down off the top of the building like this. He's virtually a one-man criminal organization. People just walking in the air just grabbing nickel bags out the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even law enforcement started to get caught up in the money. Man, I don't know how that motherfucker made all that money, man. The way he was stuffing them sacks. And the ladies in school with you just selling nickel bags, though? Excuse me? The ladies is all right with you being the nickel bag dealer? Come again. The ladies, you know, you just sell nickel bags, man. What, what do they think about you just selling nickel bags instead of big weight? I beg your pardon. Was he ruthless? Leon used to punch puppies. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about that. Ask me something now. That's more, let's talk about something more sophisticated is basically what I want to say. Leon choked a cat one time. Jumped on my Uncle Willie, beat him half to death, took a hammer and duct taped it to my hand and tried to beat the goddamn shit out of him. And that's what he became, the most famous nickel bag dealer in the world. Big Bunny Claiborne, an American gangster. Who chokes cats? Well, we in Florida, goddammit, shit! <laughs> know you in Florida, because there's ass everywhere. I don't know, they, they say that the girls down here's ass is as big as any ass I ever seen. They said it's the Kentucky Fried Chicken y'all eating down here. They hitting them with steroids. Then you eat an ass well up. That's got a Coco's. I was Coco's the other night. You think I'm not smelling my hands? Nigga, I ain't bullshit. I was, I was there last night. Being bad in the motherfucker. It was a girl in there with a C-Station scar that went across that way. It's like a nigga hit you with a hatchet. What happened? 
Did you have a baby? Or heart surgery, bitch? to my crib. Come on, follow me. Well, as you can see, I'm doing pretty good. You know what I'm saying? This is my cell right here. This is my living room. You in the, the living room area. As soon as you come up in my cell, this is the living room area. Check me out. Come on, follow me. I'm going to show you to my laundry room. As you can see, I keep my drawers and socks clean, you know what I'm saying? I gotta be fresh for my court dates and visits and all that stuff, you know? As you can see, I got my calendar right here showing you all my court dates, all my different visits. <laughs> it's going down. Come on, I wanna show you to my big, fabulous, beautiful gourmet kitchen. <laughs> gourmet noodles. <laughs> This is like a steak up in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? The romaine noodles, plus we sliced the little sausages up in that bitch. Sliced them down in there, had a whole prison smelling. The, the guards be wanting to take, the, can I get a to-go plate of this? Yeah. Now, I want to show you one of my greatest awards. I got the Golden Shank Award. I shanked the shit out of a motherfucker one night and the way I did it was so beautiful. They just went on and gave me a golden war for it. So, you see I'm doing good. I got accolades. I just ain't an inmate. I've been doing some positive shit up in here. Follow me to my big glamorous bathroom. This is where it goes down, all the magic. You know what I'm saying? This is where I take shits at, contemplate over life, wonder why I'm in here, why I'm going through the shit that I'm going through, you know. Sometimes I just sit my ass down in there and I take a shit and brush my teeth at the same time. This is the fattest pad in the motherfucking world. Come on, follow me into my entertainment system. Boom! As you can see, I got a flat screen. When I'm in here by myself, I want to watch me some movies. Come on, follow me into my master bedroom. I got pictures of all my baby mamas up here. You know what I'm saying? That's my baby mama. None of my kids is in the picture with them, but they my baby mamas. Well, so I guess it's almost time to go, folks. And last but not least, you gotta have a home gym. This is my best home gym right here, as you can see. I'm doing calisthenics like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I do these all the time, just keep them guards and haters off my back. They know, they know, they know. As you can see, I'm hugging the block. This how we doing it right here in the county jail. 
I'm gonna try to get out of here with y'all. Please don't you. Let me out of here with you, please. Hey, what are you doing? Damn. I was almost out of there. Fuck y'all, MTV. <laughs> Fuck show business, man. I ain't bullshitting. This shit is good, but it ain't all that. Because I used to be on drugs real bad. I had more friends then than I do now. Clean, sober, punk motherfucker. Cause boy, I need Jesus for real. Like y'all niggas do too. I need Jesus, boy. No, I need to go and turn my life all the way over to God. But I know I'm gonna be broke as a motherfucker. When you turn to God all the way, he test you. I'm gonna pop them pockets, nigga. See how much you really love me. <laughs> Let's downgrade everything. Okay, God, I'll be right back. I thought I was ready for you. I'll be right back. I'm not ready like right now. I got a car in the shop. <laughs> you ever be saying a prayer and some other shit come across your mind? No. Just a minute, God. I'm sorry. Please wash this bitch off my mind. <laughs> Niggas be trying to start prayers over. Blah, 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 blah. No, 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 this, that ain't the one. This is it. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. This is it right here. This is the one. Um, God be like, nigga, I understand both of them. God, man. I mean, I do comedy, but I'm really nervous about this rap shit. Man, you just do what you do, dog. Don't yeah. worry about it. I'll take care of the rest. You gonna take care of the rest of them? The bitch won't leave me alone. I'm gonna handle that, boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As it should be.
them white churches. Boy, you ever go to white church, they be quiet and scary as hell. You ever see that white dude from Houston be on TV, be smiling all the time? You see, the Lord understands. You see, Proverbs 16 through 9, I tell you, if you're rich, Not them black churches, them niggas be doing it, don't they? Jesus, and we'll live here. Nigga do a flip, huh? Like, did this nigga just do a flip in front of me? Nigga come down, oh, Jesus. This nigga just did a flip on stage. Blue suit waving. <laughs> Church is expensive now, and that plate come around a little bit more longer than it used to, don't it? We're gonna take one more offering. Whole church be looking at each other. Damn. Here, an old lady in the back, I ain't got it like that. Who said that? Sister Gita, I need to talk to you after today's program. You don't blurt out like that. You putting all the money in a contribution box and the pastor right off with some D's on that bitch. <laughs> Just bought a Cadillac. <laughs> bam, bam, praise the Lord. Put some D's on that bitch. <laughs> pastor Johnson spinning tonight. <laughs> He's pussy whoop. He's taking his with him. Yeah, you, white bitch. White bitches act like a nigga ain't supposed to say nothing to him. I'm a white girl, don't do it. <laughs> bitch, go on laugh. She didn't have no ass. She about to go in there and take a shit like this. Throw, throw some D's on that bitch. Let me watch out for a little Puerto Rican nigga reach around there and stab me. Huh, watch out there, there. You gonna reach around there and stab me. Huh, watch out there, there. Get up and wipe my ass. Fuh. Fuh. Sultry June night, three weeks ago, compulsive gambler, Bucky Briggs, had a change of luck. Here you go, my friend. You won lottery ticket as always. Thanks, Juicy. Look like my luck is about to change. Bad luck, Bucky returned to the halfway house in which he was living. That night, he watched the drawing of the winning lotto number. Uh -huh. 10, Come on. 88, Ooh. 69, uh -huh. 96, Come on with it. and the last number is 01. One. Oh, wow. oh, wow. oh, wow. I want four million dollars. I want four million dollars. What you gonna do about that? I'm getting a new Escalade. I'm paying my mama back her money, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting all my clothes out the cleaners. I ain't playing with it, you know what I'm get saying? I'm gonna get that. Yeah, what's uh, happening? Yeah, I didn't say I was gonna help somebody paint no house. I mean, come on now. Y'all want me to help paint a house and all that? What's happening? What y'all doing? What's happening? What? Man, that don't look like no paint. Y'all just kidding, I know. Yeah, what's up, man? Bucky? This this ain't too much shine for y'all, is it? I don't want this to damage y'all camera lenses. Uh, no, I never met Bucky, man. If I did, I think I'd know somebody like that. I don't ring a bell, but uh, just I'm popping this bottle, excuse me. Uh, yeah, man, I've been praying for him. You know, 
talk to the Lord. I don't know no Bucky. Nah. Nah. Nah, I don't know no Bucky. Bad luck Bucky. Ain't that him over there? Man, I thought you got the brains out the truck, man. Ain't no man. brain in the truck, man. Man, I'm looking at the brains, man. Ain't no man. dead brain in oh, the truck. Oh, man, come on, man. The brains sit right there, man. Get on, man. Get on. Man, I'm flushing. Excuse me. Hi. So, uh, what can you fellas tell us about Bad Luck Bucky? Bad Luck Bucky? Bad Luck Bucky always said he wanted to go to Australia. Mm hmm so, so I'm thinking he's somewhere down under. Yeah, way under. Is that blood all over your truck? Dear blood? Yeah, dear, dear blood, dear blood. I mean, uh, a black man can't go hunting? I've been working real hard for my bottle. Hey, fix my sandwich, and I want it done right. Yeah, man, he's talking about his jelly sandwiches. Like the you want a jelly sandwich? Whatever happened to bad luck Bucky Briggs? Is he on the run from an old DeVry student loan? If you have any information, call us at 1-800-666-CLUES. I'm Robert Stack, and join us next week on Unsolved Mysteries. Look at my nose, you can tell that ain't a real nigga nose. <laughs> Look at the slant on that motherfucker. That ain't the nigga nose I used to want all the time. Until I kept going to jail. Look officer, look at my nose now. My daughter said I look like the white man on the dime. Well, you look like the man on the dime. The fuck is that on the dime? You know a little white boy on the dime with a little haircut? I love white people because you leave your bicycles out late at night. You ride in a nice neighborhood, big ass 10 speeds just laying in the... Come get me, nigga. Come get me. You gotta run with the bike a little bit just in case somebody come and then jump on there. You gotta run with it just in case they own you. You just drop it. There it is, you can have it. Give me my shit. Blah, blah, there it is, nigga. Go ahead. And black mothers be naive, they, they be trying to act like they is. Me and my brother was stealing bicycles like a motherfucker. We had a, a basement full of bikes. My mother, oh, you're collecting your bikes. Where did you get those? Rich white man up in Carmel gave them to us. My mother believed everything. She believed that shit at the school. Motherfucking teachers told my mother all that bullshit. Talking about your, uh, 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 I think Michael has a sprinkle of retardation. And I said, bitch, I told my mother, what the fuck is a sprinkle of retardation? I'm either retarded or not. Bitch said I had a foo -foo -foo of sprinkle. Fuck is I'm gonna have a sprinkle of motherfucking retardation in me. Coffee breath ass bitch, don't say that again to my mother. It's your boy A Skid, Street Smart NT. 123rd and 3rd Avenue, you already know what it is. Street Smarts Avenue. My boy Mike Epps right here. From the hood to Hollywood all day. You keep it official, it's not a game. Remember, it's not a game. It's Mike Epps. And the maker, you already know. Street Smart. Like a lot of dudes that don't be in the hood, he's in the hood. True story, he's in the hood. He's in the hood with everybody. He's in the hood with the smugglers, the jugglers, everybody. I ain't no comedian, but he in the hood with everybody. Remember that, Street Smart NT. A Skid, holla at me. Hey, come on. Hey, shout out to Mike X. What's up, Mike? Mike. Mike. Easy, baby. Make it happen, kid. This is Mike X. Just letting y'all know right now I'm on 125th Street. About to look at one of my motherfucking rewards. They got me on a poster right up here in the motherfucker. What's up, my nigga? Ha ha ha!
I tried to get a job. My mother told me, nigga, if you don't graduate, it's gonna be hard for you. But you don't know, you kid, you don't give a fuck. Man, school ain't shit. As soon as I got grown, I felt it. Be looking at them classifiers, don't see nothing to qualify you. Be lying on the application talking about you graduated this shit. I worked for about two weeks, just enough to get an eight ball and quit. I, I, uh oh, I'm on it popping now. I got an eight ball. I was working at Burger King for a minute, goddamn it. I was on the cash register, and I don't know why they did that. It's like you the happiest minimum wage nigga I ever seen. Brand new shit on every day. Nigga working at McDonald's. Jobs are fucked up, man. These motherfuckers is crazy. Motherfuckers uh, have you on a job working for 25 years and bring a motherfucking uh, brand new college student in and, and make them your boss. Excuse me, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You left your ass well here today. Girl to the motherfucking bathroom with you. Let me get, let me get a cold water, a Julio Iglesias. Spanish motherfuckers, they in here tonight, ain't they? Where you at? I sure felt good right there, Michelle. That was good. What? What? I saw you looking at that white girl. Come on. I was looking at a white girl. That was a one white vote. Mm -hmm. So relax. I beat your ass. I swear, if you hit me, it's gonna, I swear, I'll sue the shit out of you. Don't hit me, Michelle, I tell you. Now what the fuck is wrong with you? This is bullshit. There's a lot of people out here that want to see you dead. They don't want to see you as the first black president. I'm trying to look out for your ass. I understand there's haters out there. Uh, Jesse Jackson, all those niggas want my position. I told you, I got this. I run this world. The world is mine. Whose world is this? Mm, mm, mm. You better watch yourself. <clears throat> Who that is? Sir, George Clooney's in town. He wants to know about poker tonight. Tell George I'll be there. There's plenty of bitches. There's some bitches there. Oh, uh-uh. No, 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 no. What, you think I'm stupid or something? No, he cannot go. He's going to be playing poker here, OK? Thank you, bye-bye. He's not going. And don't come back here with that bullshit. I'll beat the shit out of you. Get out of here. Get your See, you tripping, Mimi. This is bullshit. 
This is tripping. We're going to be in the White House. You know I'm going to have to deal with hoes. You see what happened to Bill? No, no. I'm trying to look out for your safety, OK? Yeah? You know, they killed Kennedy in his own parade. Baby, I'm sorry, but if, if they miss this head, they definitely going to hit these Get ears. above my damn ears, man. That's bullshit. And I'm strapped. I'm gonna be the first president to fire back on a bitch. Oh, it's like that? Yeah, it's like that. Shit. I'm what not are no you fucking... doing? I'm about to blaze one for the poor one. What the fuck you think I'm about to do? See, that's why your lips are purple now, because you keep smoking that shit. No, my lips are purple because I ate your p from the back over at Carl's Jr.'s the other night. Come on, who is it? Sir, word just got in. Senator Clinton says that you're trying to steal her speeches. If you kick that door open one more time, you're going to be working at Walmart, motherfucker. Tell yes. a Yorkshire Terrier looking bitch, I don't steal. I'm for real. Gotcha. Fucking keep sinning, guy. You like that? That's what I'm talking about, Daddy. <laughs> I like that shit. You know, that's what's up. Yeah. Why don't you go upstairs and get butt naked and uh, wait for me to hit you in the one that stinks <laughs> and not the one that winks? You is mad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we gonna have some fun with this. Uh, yeah. Give me the blunt back, Mimi. I'm the one. You ain't getting any speech today. Go I got a, um, we got a couple of little maids now. First time. I ain't never had no motherfucking maid, goddamn. That's some shit my girl thought about. I don't fuck no motherfucking maid. I clean up right behind myself. My girl hired the ugliest Mexican bitches you can find in the city. And then gonna tell me, now hit that. I said, if I fall up in this motherfucker with a gin and juice, something might get hit, goddammit. This bitch is built like a bucket. Short and round and wide. It's Mr. Michael, Mr. Michael. Just don't call me that. Call me Day Day, goddamn. Mr. Day Day, Mr. Day Day. Where you going, white boy, with the buzz cut? Going to the bathroom? Who you in here with tonight? I'm over there with the girls, or did they let me sit over there? It's a motherfucking ass on in the back. It's a cold pimp corner, ain't it? That's the confusion on a pimp's face when, when his girl over here bullshitting. As a third line, she didn't got out of pocket. I'm gonna do something to her. Matter of fact, come here, come here. I seen a bitch hit her pen back one night. <laughs> bitch, let me take it. Bitch, let me. She's like, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> Motherfucker. What's that? Is it, it pretty much that's about it. <laughs> Cause you know, now that I'm black, I found out that a black man that should be a From the hood to Hollywood. You heard what I'm talking about? Mike Epps. Keep it real. Bitches. You know the bad thing about it was, if you're not in the hood, you're not doing good. So all the way from the hood, all the way to Hollywood, my ass. If you didn't get that, that's from the hood to Hollywood. Hey, baby. Right now, I'm in the village. I'm about to go do some comedy in these little white comedy clubs that they never let me do comedy in. Now it's time to shit on them. Yeah, y'all. What's 
Manhattan and Plans and Playettes. F, baby. Yeah. F from the hood to Hollywood, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Live in the flesh. <laughs> and we here to let you know, uh, motherfucker, right. our kung fu is better than yours. <laughs> What was so great about arresting Lavelle is we'd bring him in on one charge and then he'd give us information on 20 other unrelated cases. Lavelle's the type of cat you see get put in the back of a squad car and a couple hours later you see him back on the block walking around with leftovers from Red Lobster. First of all, I'm not a snitch. I'm an informant. Let me tell you something. I watched him <laughs> in that mouth three or four times. That little nigga was picking up his teeth and still running his mouth. An informant is a much classier type of guy that will still send you to the penitentiary, but dealing with the government, not no state, cheap state shit. I've been on the force for some 20 years now and never had a criminal that could give you the information with the kind of detail that Lavelle could. Look at here, look at here, look at here, look at here. Any, many, mighty, mo. I'm about to snitch for show. <laughs> Mike, bang a lot. You still doing them robberies? You still touching on them kids, motherfucker? <laughs> Big baby Huey Keithy. You still doing them murders? Are you still selling kilos of cocaine out of your mama's house? Are you still bringing 30, 40 kilos up underground from Guadalajara? You see, my mama and them all didn't want to know why I'm telling out this year. So I can be out on the street and run errands for you at Walmart, do different shit like that. Because I'm locked up, ain't nobody going to take care of the house like I take care of the house, like I take care of you, mama. And his son just like his lazy trifling ass. And that, that, that little nigga wouldn't be able to shut his strap if you promised him a pair of Beyonce draw. Because I got a whole lot of shit to talk about. Just call me Xerox. I mean, he'd bleed like a stuck pig, you know, just bleed information all night long. When I hear something, see a nigga make a sale, nigga, you just see a light. <laughs> he told me what my wife wanted for Christmas. I ain't never turned on a motherfucker that didn't deserve it. As far as I'm concerned, everybody deserved it. Oh, he said he wanted a pick for you. So I got him one. Next thing I know, I'm in here. You know, a great for the motherfucker. Lavelle Loose Lips Washington on American Gangster.
just last night I was sitting at home watching TV. I was all alone. Okay. Seen Star Jones, she done flipped her wig, uh -huh. lost her weight, lost her gear. A nigga like me likes Queen Latifah. She'll set it off and she likes to reef up. I'ma get me a big gal. Oh, for sure. Monique and some wings and I'm good to go. Let's go. Fry it how you want it. Let's go. Baby, how you need it? Let's go. A nigga can't live without a big girl. Love all y'all like a hot butter cheese girl. My mama's a big girl. My grandma's a big girl. My sister's a big girl. My girl's a big girl. The world's a big girl. They do what they do. And some of you niggas is big girls too. Go ahead. 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 I love big girls. She turned it up. 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 Big girls are always happy as hell. What you think about Mike Epps? It's pretty fun, right? <laughs> he is not all that. What? Uh, Get up. Oh. You too. Keep it moving. Ow. Girl, don't the buffet start now. You're right. Let's go. I love big girls. She turned it up. I love big girls. She turned it up. I love big girls. She turned it up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, hey. Hey, look, ladies. Everybody gonna get a chance to eat. We're hungry. I can tell. I'm gonna just tell y'all this right here. Y'all better back y'all little bugs up. I 65. Woo! I'm going back to Indiana. Jerry. I'm going back to Indiana. Fort Wayne, South Bend. I'm going back to Indiana. Evansville, Michigan City. I'm going back to Indiana. How can I start, man? I ain't from no coast. I'm straight from the heartland. We're bickering and beefing is an art and. And even dumbs again tell a smart man. I N D I A N A. Put it this way, let a pimp play. The pushes, the prostitutes, the police. The paces, the pistols, old people want peace. But them people keep beef with my folks and my guy got popped in the street. Straight cornfields. We don't f off with that wheat. Winners long and greatest shit. It's not sweet. His baby face birthplace. Where Tyson called his worst case. Yeah, y'all. That was the first place that I ever saw. And I'm straight telling y'all that the ish that I hear in everybody's song be straight going on. What the fuck I'm coming from? I'm going back to Indiana. Woo! I'm going back to Indiana. Woo! I'm going back to Indiana. Indiana. Pops not around felony. I'm in the slammer. 17 in the IYC. Naptown rider. Laying my Mac down. Steel bars couldn't stop these stars. Not an athlete, but I'm running from the law. I and D, we love candy paint classics. Big wheel spokes in them nap down coats. Straws, overhaul, selling puppy pit bulls. Bona fide food shirt, cash by the fist fools. I'm so Midwest, Marion County's best. Indiana on my chest like a Superman S. Ron R. Test. I go a lot of places, but my home's the best. That's Going right. back, suitcase pack. Young Max Julian, Indiana Mac. Straight out of nap, out of nap, out of nap, out of nap, out of nap. I'm going back to Indiana. Day. Gangs people play. Lil John and Ray Bob dust bowl games. Look out for head knock Charles Martin. Dirty third jump street, straight to the hard man. Brightwood, Hoop Lumville. Babysitters with felony shit is real. 
jitterbug yeah. with the pale finale. Yeah. Yeah. Pendleton prison got a cold ass cell for ya. Yeah. Get my grub from the barbecue heaven. Hit the crap game, roll seven straight sevens. Ride through Hallville and East Side first. 30th Street, 42nd Street Smurfs. Chrysler, International Harvester. Student loan and bell bond show to follow ya. Summertime fairground going down. Country hay in the barn by the pound. I'm back to The Bradleys, 500 Speedway, 500 Liquors, White Castles, Don's Guns, the USA Rink, the Grand WTLC, Who's the 96, Bria, the Sharps, Gino Shelton, and the punk ass KKK. KKK, KKK, KKK. 